Yeah, of course, uh, hydrogen and fuel cell is the future. Hydrogen is the holy grail which will be there uh, in the market for next 200 years. Electricity, of course, EVs are, are coming, but you know, it will be finally fueled by hydrogen, which is the most clean fuel. And it is the most available, abundant material available in the universe, whole of universe. Imagine the atomic number of one. So, so hydrogen has a lot of future. Right now, of course, it is evolving. We have been governed by the fossil fuel always in the mobility space. But now with this key clean fuel technologies, uh, this will change the whole paradigm of uh, our uh, emissions and uh, net zero carbon, which we are targeting as India in 2070. This will take it over there. And a uh, lot of OEMs have the solution. As a startup, we are working. So, a lot of ecosystem is working to make it successful overall. So that, uh, you know, ultimately the mobility becomes clean, which is, of course, like 30% uh, of the complete emission out of uh, the whole uh, emissions which are happening here in India. Yeah, so uh, at AHORTS, what we are doing is we are trying to work on the current vehicles which are available in the market. There is around 350 million vehicles which are there in Indian market. 8 billion vehicles are running on the road, on the planet on a daily basis and they are excreting bad gases. And that's how we are having all these changes in the environment. So we are playing with the nature. What we are trying to do a bit is having a solution on a philosophy that think future but act now. So we are trying to put a solution onto a vehicle wherein we produce hydrogen and we eliminate the maximum which is the most difficult part which is transportation of hydrogen. We, we produce hydrogen and we use the hydrogen in the current IC engine. So your car, my car or any car for that matter, truck, buses, they are burning fossil fuel and they are treating post combustion. What we are doing is cutting the fuel itself and augmenting it with the cleanest fuel available which is hydrogen. So we produce hydrogen on board, on demand, we use it and clean the tailpipe emissions. And when do we do it? We are doing it, trying to do it now. Indian Oil, one of the largest companies in the country, 100 billion dollar company has signed an MOA with us. They are trying to help us financially as well. And, and I think uh, sitting inside IIT as a, as a startup, we'll be able to do on an Atnirbhar way. We have got a patent granted in India already. We have got a global novelty given. Uh, so then we came to know that we are really, uh, this is an idea to be taken forward. Coming from an automotive industry already uh, giving me an experience like from last uh, 27 years, how the world moves in the automotive world. So we'll do it in a reliable way as in any OEM or a tier one globally will do it. So on an art Nirbhar philosophy, we see that we will lead the world by putting around a million vehicles on the road. Right now, there are only 15,000 to 20,000 vehicles uh, of hydrogen. We will lead the way as maybe China did it for EV. In the history, it should be India did hydrogen for the maximum number of vehicles here in our towns by the rural people, gaining employment, taxes, insurance and everything. So it's a complete ecosystem which it can evolve through this fuel. So that's how we see in next few years to do. ETO Auto has, and I was sharing this with uh, your colleagues, it's a, it's a grand show which you have put in because in this forum there are there are voices which are coming from all these stakeholders which is not from only automotive industry they are from from uh, from the development side from the uh, software side from analytics analytics so as the ecosystem is evolving you know that whole bouquet of uh, you know the services and the ecosystem which is evolving has been put in a pot by et auto so that's a nice bouquet i will say and that was a nice being part of that mm -hmm.